Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here. Okay, I am excited to start this journey with Rachel of Roxy Creations and with her sister Sarah and her mother um, of uh, Roxy's uh, stitchery, uh, Journal of Stitchery is what it's called. And I have said that I'm going to be doing these videos on Fridays and so this is week number one of that I want to show you where I'm at so far this is the book that I thought that I would use I have gutted it and it's it's old Vashti Augusta Evans Wilson I just I love the old-fashioned the image there I just love that so I'm hoping to be able to make this work for me and I will show you in case you haven't seen these are my uh, sampler this is sampler one and this is sampler two I have not made my type bleh, <laughs> my title page yet and I thought that we would work on that today a little bit and then we'll see how far you know what else we might get done but I definitely want to do that and you know I'm looking at these and I'm saying these might actually be just a little too big I mean my book may go outside the edges a little bit my pages but I actually think I'm kind of okay with that we'll see We'll see as it gets going along. Maybe, maybe I'll uh, change my mind. But for now, these are my pages. I've got everything ready to go. And I want to go ahead and start on my uh, title page. And then we'll see if we can actually do some of the stitching you know from what Roxy and Sarah are showing us okay so I'm gonna set that aside and here is my piece of cotton it's just a just a you know just cotton and what I have done is I have cut off a little piece of freezer paper let's see my idea is to iron the freezer paper okay onto this which will make this nice and stiff and it will allow me um, what that does is it allows me to draw on my paper without messing everything up you know it won't be so wobbly so that's an idea for some of you that you can do as well so I'm going to go ahead and press this down and I'll be right back okay I have ironed the freezer paper the shiny side onto the back of my fabric and this really didn't have a you know either side would would be fine to use so that's where we're going and let's just get a pencil out so journal of stitchery um and of course the hashtag we'll use is roxy's journal of stitchery but my journal of stitchery I think will be either Rhonda's journal of stitchery or just journal of stitchery or my journal of stitchery so stitchery I want to be able to put some little thingies <laughs> I want to put some little pretties leaves maybe a couple of flowers or something around the edge so I don't want my journal of stitchery to be really really huge and I'm wondering if a 
Mm, a lined or a graph paper would help me sort of, I don't know. I'm not great at this, but let's just give it a go, all right? Okay, see how it goes. Oh. We shall see, my friends. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Sorry, I have to kind of concentrate on what I'm doing here. Okay, can you see that stitchery? So, I think up here, all right, <laughs> we're just gonna go for it, my friends. I hope that you are having fun working on yours. I am, um, this is something very new to me. Ah! <laughs> See what I did? Look, 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 look. I turned the R into with a really long nose. All right, let's see if we can get rid of that. Oh, would that I could just show you. I just, I'm so clever. <laughs> but you'd, you'd know. <laughs> you'd be like, no, Rhonda, not so much. Ugh. However, we're going to turn that into a blessing. And in that uh, uh, erasing, I kind of popped up a little bit of the this sticking to the freezer paper. It's lifting just a little bit there, but that's okay. It's not horrid. <laughs> oh, okay. Hopefully, when I get done, except you'll know, it'll be forever on record because it's on the video. It'd be like, aha. Okay, and then we will just do a little. Okay, Journal of Stitchery. So, then I think I'm going to want some bits and bobs, you know, a little bit of floral here and and around. But I think before I do that, that I'm going to go ahead and stitch this, um, my words. Um, so when I do put, I use a hoop. I, I know Rachel doesn't. I don't know. And Sarah didn't either when she was on their videos. But I, if I can, I use a hoop. When I was taught as a child to embroider, I was taught to use a hoop. And so that's what I'm comfortable with. Loosey goosey for me is really hard. Um, and I'm not that good at this process. So for me, using a hoop to do these words will be much easier without added fabric or other embellishments to get in the way of my hoop. So I will do that first 
and then I will do some additions here. So what we want to do is, 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 take my freezer paper off now, and I will, let me grab a couple of things here, and we'll just kind of get set. This is my, my bag. And this is the hoop that I will be using. And get out my my thimble and my rubber finger so that I can make it all work together here. Alrighty. Let me just set that aside. Okay, so, and I'm left-handed, so I don't know how everybody, uh, uh, whoops, <laughs> it's good to get it right. Okay, so this just makes it a little bit easier for me to go ahead and get my letters uh, taken care of, and then I just move the hoop as I need to. And I haven't decided whether I want to do a back stitch here or whether I want to do, I could even do a couching. No, I don't think I'll do a couching stitch. Um, I think probably, what is that stitch called? Let's see. Let me see if I've got it in here. the a stem stitch I may do a stem stitch okay so let me gather my supplies my uh, decide what uh, colors I'm going to use and I will be back okay I am back I have picked this is a DMC embroidery thread. It's 939. It's a, a dark um, blue. So this is what I'm going to start with. And so I've tied my knot in the back, popped it up, and now we are just getting ready to go ahead and start stitching. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel welcome welcome this is something I have never done on video I have done embroidery uh, for many many years but not faithfully not constantly uh, as a girl as a fairly probably I don't know six or seven years old is when my mom started teaching me to embroider but it's one of those talents that, you know, if you don't do it all the time, you definitely get rusty and you have to, you know, kind of re rehone your skills and whatnot. And like I said before, I, I was never good. So it's not like, <laughs> you know. I am using four threads for this particular letter. I don't know if I'm going to use the same um, thread for other letters as well. I may mix it up and do different letters. I haven't decided that yet. I don't know how much I actually want the writing to stick out. So those are all things to think about. And it is getting night here. It's dark outside. So the lights are on, and I know it's a little bit different, a little more shadowy with my embroidery here. So that's obviously, you can start to see the line there pretty well. We'll just pop that underneath, and then we'll start here on the down part of the J. And the one thing is, as you've watched Sarah and, and uh, Rachel's, videos that when you're doing this particular stitch it's important to keep the thread on the same side 
so mine is being held up here so therefore I want to keep all of these on the same and you try to do it as evenly as you can of course <laughs> of course okay so you guys that's th this I know I I'm not going to do a video with you watching me just stitch that's terribly boring for you <laughs> I don't blame you but I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my stitching and at some point I will turn the camera back on and show you where I'm at and what I've what I've been doing this just shows you this is what I'm working on these are the tools that I'm using this is the color that I'm using and so yeah I'm gonna just continue on I've at least started <laughs> on my title page yay all right I'll be back okay I am back I just thought I would show you what I'm doing how far I've gotten okay I've got journal of in the dark dark blue it looks black really um, but it is a dark blue and now I've decided to switch it up and I'm using obviously this wasn't a DNC because I didn't even put a number on it I only did that with my DNC's this is probably a, a JP or JC uh, that other brand <laughs> but it's variegated and so that's what I'm doing now and this one I am doing the back stitch and just really enjoying uh, doing this so I will just continue you know continue doing this until we get the stitching word all covered it'll be fun to see how it variegates from this kind of a oh sort of a maroony burgundy type color to a pink when we get not a not a super light pink you know it's it's a darker pink but yeah so I will just continue on and I am right now I'm actually watching Rachel's video on uh, the theme for this month the prompts that she gave are vintage lace and bouncing bunny so I'm gonna watch her video and then I'll pop on over and watch Sarah's video doing those while I am stitching so I'm killing two birds with one stone so to speak that's a terrible saying who would want to kill birds I mean I love birds so that's stupid <laughs> I'm accomplishing a couple of things at once. Let's let's put it that way. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I have completed embroidering um, my journal of stitchery, and that's all I'm going to do on this for this week. This will this will just be a work in progress because I want to go to the first um, week of Rachel's and Sarah's um, Journal of Stitchery, which is the first one is using vintage lace and also using a bouncing bunny or a bunny or rabbit, I mean, whatever and however we want to do that so I'm gonna set this aside and I will get out a page we'll just set this in here a page to work on okay so I think what I'm going to want to do is to pick my background fabrics I've been watching I've watched Rachel's and I'm in the middle of Sarah's right now um, it took me oh took me a couple I would probably say maybe three hours total 
to do my stitching on Journal of Stitchery. Um, maybe I'm super slow. I don't know. <laughs> but it did, it did take me that long. Okay, so let me, I'm going to turn the video off while I go pick some uh, fabrics. And then let's just see where this goes. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just turning on the video for just a sec here to show you. <laughs> oh boy, got a mess. But I did, I bought this tiny little bunny. It's the only bunny I could find. I went to Hobby Lobby and found one. And I stamped it on this muslin. And it's not a great... Uh, you know, it's not very black, black. So I'm just going over with a black Posca pen and coloring that in. And I will continue to do that. And, yeah. And then gather some more goodies and we'll just kind of figure out what we want to do. I'll be back. Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. What my plan is... Um, here is my little bunny with the stamp, the, uh, bouncing <laughs> or hopping, whatever it was, bouncing bunny. So he's hopping down the hill. <laughs> you see the grass kind of growing and there's the bunny. So I may use this piece. I also went onto um as a art to heart art to heart art heart yeah. anyway i love her very simple fun uh patterns and this is something i found a little bunny on hers the little bunny head and the little ear comes here and this is a quilting design that i had for applique and then, and then, I found this piece of a glove, a leather glove, a vintage. This is wonderful. Oh, love it. It feels so luscious. And I thought about maybe doing my bunny out of this. So, I am going to continue to explore... I have these fabrics. I love to have them frayed. This is a feed sack fabric. Um, this, of course, this is a soft, soft leather. Uh, here's some, most of these are cottons that I have, and most of them are actually quilting cottons, you know, because I quilt. Um, I have some handkerchief bits and bobs. This I took this out of a um, a, a handkerchief that was given to me, and uh, you know it was machine stitch. But I thought that was beautiful. I don't know that I'm going to use it in this project, but I do have some other bits of that fine. I like I like the looks of this. I like this green that I used on my um, sampler. I put that in there as my very last here. And then I did the seed stitch and added some more purple uh, seed stitches in there. So I'm going to go ahead and collage on and then I'll just be back to kind of wrap up the video for this this week because this is obviously an ongoing I have the whole month to work on this and it may take me you know it may take me a good week or so to actually um, finish this up so in fact you guys let's I'm gonna call this good for today's video I just know that by next week I will have my background at least collaged on and I'll show you what I'm doing that way. Whew. 
<laughs> Thank you, Rachel and Sarah, for um, your videos and for hosting this wonderful, fun time. I'm excited to be working on this with a whole bunch of other ladies, and I hope that some of you, my amazing subscribers, I love you guys so much. I hope that you're doing this with me, with, with all of us, and that we're just going to have fun. All right. Till next video, have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.